setting up a system is complicated when you have more than one source and there's, you know, it's a line array and then there's some other little sources and there's a front fill. So you really want to make it seem like the sound is coming from where it's coming from. I've done this kind of work for myself, so it's not like I don't know what he's doing, but he's good. He's real good. So I just pretty much shut up. <laughs> I mean, I asked questions and told him what I thought. It was fun to see him fight this, to get this how he wanted it. And it, when, when, and it actually meant lowering the two line arrays by 18 inches, I think it was. That had to do with the fact that our clouds, which are overhead, had been lowered from the specs, original specs. And so they were nipping off the top end. But all he, he didn't know that. He just knew he didn't like how it sounded. And it would drove him crazy until he, I think he figured it out. So lowered them, a lot of work. All the Clark guys are going, Rick, he's picky. We'll get it. He'll get it. But he was like in torment until he got it.